A free and impartial media is a key pillar to any democracy. Media, both print and electronic, have rapidly moved from a few national houses that attract elite and mature journalists to massively distributed reporting houses with keen teen reporters wanting to make it big, and that too, rapidly. Advanced technologies and youth with an Indiana Jones attitude bring to light regionally and nationally important news such as misuse of project funds, scandals, kickbacks, and other everyday stories, mandating immediate response in the process. Wisely wielded, newspapers, television, radio and various web-based media can act as advocacy for environmental, business and social concerns, as a news come education channel even in remote corners of the nation, as a link between government and the public, as a government watchdog checking malpractice and corruption and as a tool for socialization by addressing our habits, relationships, values, religious and racial apprehensions, and others. The role of media in disaster relief is also significant. With technology costing less, and advertisement bringing in large revenues, the tendency to pander to basest emotions by providing pornographic, habit-forming drugs, smoke and alcohol and violent content, at the expense of well-thought-out programming, is increasing. Many studies point out the potential role of media as a creator of news rather than remaining a neutral observer and reporter, and as a judge of events with the ability to exacerbate them, indicate that the media industry needs to exercise control. You are what you eat, hence it is important for consumers to select and process what they consume without disturbing their personalities, physically by reacting, psychologically by becoming unstable or socially by instigating.